Hi everyone. I am now on part two with the Art Dot diamond painting that this company sent me to try out. And I've got it set up, so stick with me. And I'll show you how I set up and get started on the diamond painting. You'll have an update on my studio. So stick with me. Okay, everyone, as you can see, let's move my thing out of the way, <laughs> the, my mag lighted magnifying glass. <clears throat> yes, I have caught another cold. Just as I finished this major overhaul of my studio, and it took me three days to finish painting it. It really shouldn't take me that long, but you know. I had things, birthday parties and things in, in between to get it in order. I had to take things out of here that was, that would belong to my kids and grandkids. And I honestly feel like putting a uh, deadlock, deadbolt on the, on the door and a, a sign that says, this is not your storage unit <laughs> on this room. It's like everything is kind of settled here as everything was going on musical chairs but different mo moving and in and out and going everywhere you, you know how it goes we're at that point of our lives and i'm like i just want my room back i just want my studio my little youtube room back so <laughs> i have got it back y'all i have got it back youngins look 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 you can see all some of my collectibles behind me you know, you can see them if I scoot over here, you can see what's over here. And I've left some more wall, you know, over on this side to put some more diamond paintings that I have done that I finished and they need to be put on canvas and hung up. <clears throat> and then I have this whole wall on this side over here and some still on this side over, over there. So... <clears throat> Anyways, I'll take you on a tour of that in another video, but right now let's get back to the subject at hand is part two of the Art Dot Butterflies, and I'm going to be starting the first third part since it's long. You can see how long it is. It is um, 66 by 33 centimeters, which is 26 inches by 13, so it's 13 narrow and 66 long i'm just going to be doing the top this half right here um today just this third part i'm going to do it in thirds and i'm going to move this down here this is my magnifying i have an led magnifying um glass that clips onto my table okay I'm going to get that bar up that way. But that's how I do this. Now, I've got my glasses up here. I look through this, and honey, it's like night and day. Night and day. Okay, here is the box that it came in. And you can see it says Art Dot across the top. Uh, DIY Diamond Painting. And I went all over, uh, all, all over what was on this tube and this is how it was shipped to me in the unboxing video which I will link at the end of this video um it'll be on one of these little choices that you can make just click on them before the video is over with and it, that's more at the end of the video you know where the where you can subscribe and everything don't forget to subscribe hit like button and subscribe so that way you won't miss anything in the future that I put on here and click all so that way you'll have if you want to see everything that i post make sure you do that and it'll give you a notification youtube will let you know every time that i put a new video on <clears throat> as i said i do have a cold and i got that let's see i was finished saturday night yep saturday night i was finished and was feeling good i did a a little facebook sneak peek video of it was feeling good no, you couldn't tell I was sick at all it's in my way 
distracting. Um, and then about 1 a.m., I start getting this feeling of cough right here. I just could not, I was, <coughs> couldn't get it up. Next thing you know, my nose t totally, completely shuts off. I was a mouth breather. Yes, I was a mouth breather. And every now and then I become a mouth breather because it does it again. But I've got a, a serious cold and I'm praying, Lord, please don't let it move back down into my lungs. I just got over having that in my lungs, so I, <laughs> I don't need that again. But it's school time starting with children going, uh, my grandchildren going to school. I pick them up every other week for my son. And that just, I just, I catch everything because I have lupus. I catch everything. And it, if it's a cold, it goes, it usually goes down into my lungs and I have to get antibiotics. I'm hoping that's not the case this time. I'm starting to feel like I'm turning the corner with it. You can still hear me in my voice with it. <clears throat> it's it, it's just an aggravation because I was I had told everybody on my little sneak peek video that I was going to start filming the very next day, which was Sunday. But I, I was so sick and and weak, and I just I just wanted to sleep. And today I almost didn't start this today because I was wanting to sleep. <laughs> I was I was so feel so bad. So I went and I took me a shower, and that kind of opened me up, and I feel a lot better. It always feels good to take a shower. Um, so with that said, we will go ahead and I will show you how I have packed this up. And I'll move you down, so you, down there so you can see it. Okay, everyone, I hope that's balanced enough for you. Um, you can see that I do have the, uh, oh, I can't remember the name of this um, storage uh, bin type things. And you can tell I have really been using these. These are foggy from where I tried to clean the, the sticky off. but And they don't look all that great, <laughs> but that's okay. If you remember, this art dot was so nice to give us stickers with the numbers and the symbols on them. So that way, when I filled up, show you can see the little sticker goes on there. And these are the small. Then you can see the medium size here against the small. I love these. I absolutely love these. And then you have, let me see here, um, a large. And you can see how that goes with a medium. And then you have the little, little small one. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do all three. Oh, we're good. Okay. If I'm going to be able do all four of them. You can see Frodo in the background. I see him. <laughs> Some people was like, you got to show Frodo. <laughs> now there's the extra large. So when you have an extra large amount of diamonds in a, in a, like if you're doing one of them big paintings and you have all those extra diamonds, you can see the difference in those. Okay. So that is what I use. And, uh oh, wrong way. This goes here. That goes there. And that goes there. I think so. Okay, I may have totally ruined it all, but that's okay. It's okay. This diamond painting, uh, like I said, I'm only going to be doing this part of the diamond painting, okay? So, I may have to move you just to get you settled. I think that's probably close enough. If I need to go a little closer, I will. Now, this one came with this pack of... You know, the stickers, and I'm putting them up here. Um, the wax, you know, and the diamond. <clears throat> the diamond painting pen and this sweet little, I love it, tray. The washi tape to put around the edges because, it, you know, the sticky kind of goes around the edges, and you don't want that to get dirty. The bigger the diamond painting, the longer it's going to have 
time to collect some. And it'll help me too, because I'm only going to do this in thirds. So I'm gonna try to figure out where my third is. I may not use this because I have some that are my favorite, like this one. You can see that? I have my own favorites. But I, I do appreciate that Art Dot gives an upgraded, it, so does, well, it's not the pink one, and it looks like it's an upgraded to me. Um, a nicer, a nicer regular, nicer than the regular run-of-the-mill diamond painting pens. But I'm glad that I have this because I've had this made for me, and I'm going to use this one because it's a lot easier on my hand. Um, there's the wax. I usually do not use the wax anymore. I love that this is a, a heart. I'm way up here. Um, I've got to get used to that zoom in. That wax right there, it's nice. I love that it's a heart and, and everything. I'm not going to use that. Um, we'll have... What I use is this blue tack. And it's the same thing that the, you know, teachers or somebody would use for, and you can tell it's old. It's coming apart, everybody. Everybody, watch out. It's coming apart. But, um, yeah, I use this blue tack. I'm going to get out a new piece. I mean, I had to tear it. Okay. I use blue tack instead of the wax and it seems to do a little longer a little better for me I'm heavier handed so I use the wax up too fast and it just works better for me okay and I usually use this because I can go faster I can put more diamonds in there but I'm going to try this one I want to see how it does it might make me a little slower we shall see how it does. So I'm going to go ahead and put those things over there. I'm going to get this started. And you can see I have a light pad. This is my light pad right here. And I can turn it on. Let's see if there's my little thing. I'm going to turn it on. It's going to get bright. But it will, I can, I can tone it down some. So I just see, see, I can see those symbols really, really well. Really lights it up. Okay. I'm going to tone it, tone it down for y'all. And my magnifying glass. You can see the shine right here. I'm so sorry. I hope that's not going to be a bother. I may, ha I may move the camera. Let's see. Okay. After fooling around with this camera, I am hoping that it has focused that it is focusing on what I'm doing down here. So, if not, I'll give it a good try. So, we shall see. I'm gonna get my washi tape out. You can see it right here. And I am going to pull this back to where I think the top half is done. I'm gonna say about right there. And then I'm going to take this washi tape here. Okay, where did Frodo go? He's behind me. <laughs> okay, this is the first time I've used washi tape. I usually don't want use washi tape. And you just put it alongside. Okay, real good. You can tell I don't use washi tape very often. And I am going to try to get that even. This is one reason why I don't use washi tape. <laughs> I think I'm not that good at keeping things even. Now, I need to just look through my... Okay, I want to make sure I don't go inside it and disrupt where my things are going to go. Okay, and it goes right there. So, and I'm not going to put it, I may put it right here. 
because I don't want to block my symbol chart there. And get my little scissors. Cut it right there. Okay, I don't want to block this too much. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do there. And that kind of gives me an idea of where my where I'm going to stop on here. Okay? So, and if I have to turn it around to do this side, that's when I'll put the... I mean, I can go around and put the washi tape now. Oh, whoops. My chair makes a lot of noise. It's just a little old metal stool. So... Make sure I get this even. We shall put it on the top side. I don't know if you can see, but I'm on the very top putting this down. Okay. There we go. Maybe defeating the purpose by not doing that. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So I am going to see. Now this one I usually would go through all my colors. All 35 on one section. Which I may have to do on this top section. Because it does have a lot of colors. So let's see. We will go number one. We're looking for all the number ones. So I'm going to get the number one out. Put it in my little uh, thing. The good thing about working this way is I'm right-handed. So I can actually move this forward, the cover, and use that as a cover protector as I work. So that way I'm not damaging any of the glue here. Um, and I'm able to work. So... I'm going to put the number one color in. There's not many. Okay. And I'm going to get this ready. In my tack. And I just... Oops, can't see. Let me see here. Let me back you up just a little. Okay. Now you saw me do a no-no right before my battery went out. Is I place this on the sticky part, <laughs> doofus. <laughs> I'm glad it just did, it was it didn't stick. So, and I'm going to film the end of my pin up. You can see I've got my stuff in there, and now I'm going to look. And I do have cover minders, but I don't use them. In fact, I could just use a washi tape to hold my cover back. Whoops. Where I want to right now. Let's see, I've got to find all the ones where I'm going to be working. I see a lot of ones right through here. So let's just do that. And see, I can reuse this. And now get them all right side up. And here we go. I'm going to find the ones. And here goes the first. Right there. Uh-oh. The stuff come out of my thing. <laughs> I think I need to take the old out. I may have some old still in there. And it's not wanting to stick to it, so yeah, that's what it is. It's been a while. I was using a different pen for some of the things I have been doing lately. I have a lot of custom pens. I'm just trying to get this old blue tack out. Okay. And sometimes you can use the tack thing to actually get down in there and pull it out. It'll actually clean it out for you. But, let's see if I can get it to stay in this time. Nope, that, that pulled all of it out, I think. 
Okay. Yep. It's empty now. So that's good. I can go ahead and put some in now. And it should stay. Shouldn't have an issue with it sticking to my diamond painting anymore. That's not totally enough. Okay. And if I keep having problems with the tip, I can always put one of, a new tip on from one of the ones that come in. Because this tip seems to be a little bit frayed on the end where I've used it so much. Probably from using it on squares. <laughs> okay. So, let's see. Let's try again. And you can see how easy this is. Ouch. I'm hitting things. I just love this new room. It's so peaceful now, feeling, even though it wasn't loud. Now I've got two on here, so I'm going to go to where I can put two. And see, every now and then you have to kind of cl clean off that extra that comes out, which is normal even for the wax. Because um, you don't want it to get stuck to the, the canvas. But that's okay. And I'm noticing these are nice, round beads. I mean, diamonds. You can really tell how nice they are. They shine nice. And there I'm messing up my little rose that I had. Get them to come down there and be nice. Okay. All right, I don't see any up. There. So I always miss a whole bunch and have to come back later and say, oh man, I can't. And you know, I will look and look and look before changing to the next color. And I'm like, I do not see another one. And then whenever I get to the next, uh, open the next color, get set up and start placing them. Then I see like millions of the ones before that I had looked for and did not see. I'm like, what in the world? It's like I was blind to that symbol. Weird. I think maybe our eyes get so used to looking at this that it just blends a lot of things in after a while. <laughs> at least it feels like that for me, you know. And I'm looking. There's just Y's right there. Y's, Y's, ones. There's not a lot of the this color so I'm expecting it not to have a lot of ones just a few and so this and see now it's wanting to come out again you get a little excess comes out it's okay just have to stay on top of it so it doesn't get on your canvas so it won't you won't see it in between your diamonds. Um, wax does the same thing. It, it comes off on your diamonds too. And so I'm just kind of, I like the blue tack better than I do the wax. I just go through the wax too fast. I'm, I just, I'm too heavy handed, I guess. That's what you would say. And so there. Found some more ones, and I'm not exact, and I try to straighten them as I go. Um, a lot of people are so strict on how straight you are. You 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 don't you have to be just absolutely straight and use these uh, straight edges and and things to get it to be straight. Especially with the squares. I can understand the squares. My husband's a brick mason. I know all about how things need to be level and straight. But people are human. And there's no need for people to fuss or make comments 
about someone that is not straight. Now I've literally seen it where people have in, now see that washi tape is not holding that back for me. <laughs> I'm just too rough when I move and I stick to it so that's that's what it is. So I have, I've literally seen people, oh my gosh, this stupid thing. Shut up. Where people have actually commented, made comments about how uh, someone wasn't straight, wasn't exact with their diamonds, and it looked awful, and you know, that's hurtful. And if they, th I mean, they must think a lot of themselves. That's just a narcissist. That's someone that is self-righteous, self into themselves. And if you're like that and you don't like what I'm saying, um, I understand it's good to be straight. I'm not saying go ahead and be sloppy. No, Anna's doing her hair. I'm not saying be sloppy. I'm just saying don't think that you have to be perfect. No one's perfect. And if they say they do theirs perfect, they're lying. And if people say, well, I don't lie, then that's a lie right there. There ain't nobody been live on this face of the planet had not lied. I mean, even babies will lie and act like they're hungry to get something. I mean, that's before you even realize what you are when you're a little baby doll. I mean, little baby. You know... When you're a baby, you just, kids, all they want is what's, what they think is the most important thing to them at the moment in the atmosphere. They don't realize, if I, eat, if I eat this huge thing of ice cream right now, I won't be able to eat my supper. No, they don't see that. All they know is they want ice cream. And so they cry. And it's that same mentality. It's that same kind of mentality. And we don't need to be like that. When we are adults, we encourage each other. We should encourage each other. We all do things that we shouldn't. At some time or another, we all complain. We gossip. I'm sure some people catch themselves and gossip. And, oh, I shouldn't be saying this about somebody. And that's the way. And we ask for, and when you do, you ask for forgiveness from the Lord. Say, I'm so sorry, Lord, I shouldn't say that. I shouldn't think that way. Please help me not to. And catch yourself. Catch yourself in the middle of something. And I think I lost it. lost one right there. And I think I have done all my ones for right now. I don't see any more ones. <laughs> so that didn't take long for the ones, did it? Now we're going to see how this goes back into the thing if it if it does better than the others okay one just fell out and I'm at a different angle than I normally would be just so I could show you them going in okay I got one stuck there okay one flew over here and I'm gonna try to find it but it's on the sticky part so I can't rub my hand on it it's probably on my arm or something. I'll find it as I think that's it right there. There we go. Down with number one. Now we're on number two. There's 35 colors. I doubt I'm going to be able to do all 35 colors with you without doing a speed fast forward. <laughs> so now the symbol is number two. So, and it is a purple, and I'm going to try to start at the top since I've already got it back. I don't see a two here. You know what, I should look before I even put the diamonds in because this may be a color for down here. I'm, and I'm thinking it's on this other end. I don't see it over here. I'm not seeing the twos on this side. So, let's put that one back in. <laughs> 
I see a few threes. Now there's just a t one little thing of trash right here. One little one little thing of trash right here. Oh, there went my. Of course. Okay. And where I stop off on my where I have the last one I've done, I turn up like that. If you can see it, I'm sorry. So I'm gonna get number three out. I wanna look and I do see a few threes right here. <laughs> Not many, so I don't have to pour out a lot. And there's not many in there. You see? There's not going to be many threes. Where's my, my... Oh, my goodness. Okay. Where's my pen go, Frodo? You didn't grab it, did you? You can't have it. Okay. It's going to take me forever. <laughs> Dropping everything. There's a three... And my, I don't have my, here we go. I had to lower my light um, magnifying glass. It was making me feel kind of woozy way up there. Okay, there's a three here. I'm hoping you can see. I may have to back you up. I think I'm gonna have to back you up. You may not be seeing a thing I'm doing. Okay. I hope you could see what I was doing. You'd be so mad right now. You'd be yelling at me, why didn't you check before now? I'm sorry. Okay, it takes a little bit when you only have one camera. And if I have two, I could put... Okay, now I'm going beyond my... <laughs> I'm wanting to go back and I'm wanting to do all of them. Which I probably could. But, I don't, I don't want to do that. Okay. I want to stick to my three sections. So. And I see them just right here. So. <laughs> I lay that one down. That one's up. Now we're on the four. Now, I don't understand if you know why Art Dot says it's like every fourth diamond well it's only on the first few there's a rainbow on here I, I don't know and this is oh I see it's an AB they put that on the ABs that has the iridescent treatment to them okay I got it okay so this one has at least this one has three AB colors they try to at least have two to three colors in every painting. They only offer two paintings right now, but they are in the midst of getting more um, for their, their thing. I mean, okay, so this is number four. Let's try down here. Okay, now, now look at all these fours right here where I stopped. <laughs> okay. Sometimes the blue tag's a little bit more, um, now look, it's not wanting to pick up anything. That's why I want to change my, let me, let me take that point out of that one. And I will use the point that came in this one. Let's see if I can get it to work its way out. Sometimes it takes a little bit. To get a point out. There we go. Now I'm putting it in this. Well, I thought I would. There we go. I had to use the desk. I got it. So let's load this back up with some of the blue tack and it should stay. I, it was just not sticking in the middle. 
Okay, now we can go back to number four. And it should work. The pretty ABs. Oh, and now that's coming out there. Okay, this is not blue tack. You are not making a good show of yourself. People are going to say, you know what? I don't want to use that stuff if it's going to give her that much trouble. I never have this trouble. <laughs> it's just because it's on the camera. It's only because I'm filming. And that got all over that one. Oh, my gosh. I have never had any issue with the blue tack. Until now. <laughs> that is just so ridiculously weird. I have gremlins that follow me around. I don't know if that's what it is. That try to give me trouble. Okay, let's try again. Make sure I got it in there. I pulled it out again. Look at this. I'm not going to be able to use it. What is wrong with my blue tack? Is it because it got old? Okay. Uh, oh my gosh, this makes me so mad. You hear me talking to myself? Now look, it just will not stay. Are they treating these things now with something else? <laughs> Come on now. Don't you dare pull out. Okay, now watch. Watch it, it'll do it again. Nope. Oh, there it went. This has just been a, an absolute... It's going to ruin my diamond painting. It's going to... I guess I'm going to have to resort to using the wax. Yes, I'm ill. This makes me ill. Because the wax does the same thing. It comes out... And it gets all over everything, and you can't get it off. And you watch. I will not have enough to do the rest of this painting. I mean, I'm having to poke that stuff to get it all in there. Look at me time. I mean, this is why. This is why I don't use the wax, because I've, I just, just right now, I've just had to poke how many times to fill this up? Okay, let's see. And see, when that wax comes off on it, you can't clean it off. You can't get it off. At least I can stick some more of that other on it and it will come off. But the wax kind of really messes it up. Oh well. I guess the blue, the, the blue tack just doesn't want to stick to the, the metal in there anymore. It may be just that it's old. I need to buy a new fresh amount. Fresh, because it's probably about two or three years old now. Okay, what is going on there with that one? What? What is... Is that the wax all over it? probably is. Let's see, wax. Oh well. And when you seal it, if there's wax on there, that, that sealer is not going to help. The wax will keep the sealer from sticking to it. So, I'm really upset. I never have that problem with the blue tack. Never. Isn't that weird? I just start doing uh, diamond painting on camera and then the, the blue tack doesn't want to work because I touted it so much. I was like, oh, look at this. This is such a what's what I, look, I use. It's better. And then it gives me all that trouble. I'm so happy the devil hates me. I am so happy because if he like, if he ain't giving you any trouble, then you're not doing what you need to be doing. You need to be busting him in the eye by telling everybody about Jesus. And that's what I do. And he doesn't like it, so he gives me a hard time. And I'd rather him be mad at me than God be mad at me. 
Seriously. Okay, I got my feet all over the bottom. <laughs> all right. Calm down, Lara. <laughs> it's just frustrating because this is how I do it. I've done it all the time like that with the blue tack and I've never had any issue. And the minute I start filming as to what works for me, it doesn't work on camera. <laughs> People are going to be like, well, I ain't using that stuff if that's what happens. I think for sure, though, that it's... Now, see see how the, the wax is now not picking up hardly at all? See, I'm, it's just not wanting to pick up. To, it's starting to get dirty, and it's starting to get to where it does, it's pushed in more now. And it's wanting to give me a hard time and drop off. So I'm going to have to grab some more wax. Well, guess what? I don't have enough wax for this whole painting, if that's the case, if that's going to be the case, you know, now I've, I was just about to say now it's picking up now, and then it didn't, oh now it's picking up, some of the grooves I think have like a little edge to them in the see now look it's picking up fine now oh I hope you can see what I'm doing I really do <sighs> frustrating 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 when you're trying to show it how easy it usually is and it usually is very easy. <laughs> it's going to give you trouble when you're trying to show people while you're recording. Now see there, Fountain's wanting to fall. Get back where you go. That's what kills me is having to go back three and four times to pick up one when you should be picking them up each time and just setting the canvas on fire but I'm having to try to pick this up. this is why I don't like the wax is you're having to pick it up pick it up pick it up pick it up, trying to pick it up see see now look at this this is why I hate putt putt I could be on a roll and then one hole I'm swinging 50 times this this is Maybe the wax will help it stay in this time. I don't know. Now it come right out. Let me see if I can get this thing to stay. I can't stand to use the wax. No, it's come out. It just pulled right on out. Ah, I'm cursed. <laughs> I'm going to have to use wax. Okay, I stuck that wax five times. Now look. If I have to do this all the time like that, I'm not going to have none. If this was my only diamond painting, you could forget it. I wouldn't have enough wax to finish. They do send just li the littlest amounts. Now look, that come out. Maybe it's something to do with the surface. The wax come out. Nothing is staying in the, the tubes. Okay. Let me try a different diamond paint. Pen. This is different. This one's got butterflies in it.
Let's see. I always kind of go around and around to try to get the excess off and push that on down in there. Now let's see. Don't fail me now. I think it's working. Nope. Nope. It's not working. And it's going to mess it up. Because. Let me try this other side that has not been stretched. Let's see how it does. See, now this is taking forever. I just won't push down on it like I have been. Because if I, I'm trying not to get it straight. See, now look, it's come off again. You average three and then they come off, and then it comes off. I'm getting very perturbed. It's because they're domed and they're not faceted. And what happens is, is it does like a suction cup. See, look. Look at this. Look, look. Right here. You see how? See what happened? It pulled the stuff out of the tip of my pen. Every three diamond, every third diamond, it pulls it all the way out. So I have to stop, pull that out, clean off the diamond, which it actually, some of the Aurora Borealis got stuck off of there. And it does it with your wax. It pulls the wax out and it pulls the blue tack out. And it's because they're rounded. They're, they're not, they're domed. They're not, um... They're not fasted. The dome makes a suction and it pulls what's in the tip out. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to stop. I, I may have to stop and not finish this because I can't keep wax or my blue tack in my pen to where I can do the diamonds. So here I go. I'm going to try again. Now there's something on my... Get in there. Oh my gosh. Now there's something... Okay. This is, I'm going to have to stop. I'm sorry, everyone, but if this is the way it's going to go, I'm not going to have a video. Now, they may have sent me a diamond painting, but if it doesn't, if I can't put the diamonds on it, then I can't put the diamonds on it. And I'm having to just barely even touch it. See there? I'm just having to barely even touch to try to keep... Here it goes. Here it goes. To try to keep it from pulling the... Now see, it's starting to come out already. It's not my tips of my pens. I've used these pens for multiple diamond paintings. It's because these diamonds are domed and not faceted. Because they, they, it makes them do a, a suction. And what it does is it pulls it out when it does that. So I'm trying not to go straight down on them. I'm trying to just get them by the edge. Um, and I'm not one to use tweezers. And I will not use, I refuse to try to do a diamond painting with tweezers. You're, you're just, see now that? I have never had this issue. Ever. 
Never, ever, ever have I had this issue with blue tack or wax, really. And the only thing I can attribute to is because the diamonds are round topped, not fasted. And while they're round top, that means that uh, they just. Okay, everyone, I looked it up. I've had to take, I've made supper, I've cooled down, <laughs> and I found out what it is. It's not. It's not the regular diamonds. It's these ABs. A lot of people have found that the regular size diamonds that are, that have the AB coating on it, it it causes, and it doesn't matter if it's the domed or the the um, fasted. They. Uh, let me get this light up here for you. The coating, for some reason, it makes a suction and it it causes that wax or blue tack, either one of those, this kind of blue wax or the pink wax. It's not, it's not supposed to do the blue wax as bad, but the pink wax, um, you know, that comes in these as well they call it pink wax even though it looks red in some places you know some some packs they pull it out and so i'm going to leave the ab diamonds to last and i'm going to go by the store and um what people have said you can use is the dental wax for braces you know the wax that you put on a bracket um, if you're familiar with having braces on your teeth, you know exactly what I'm talking about. You can get that at the Dollar Tree or Walmart and for just a little over a dollar, I think. It may be even under a dollar at Dollar Tree or Dollar General or whatever. But you can use that and they say it works better and not to fill, it, fill the end up so full like I did um, to just barely have some in there and maybe have something that you can push push it further down in there almost like it's at the point of refill because that way it sticks to it but it you know it's gonna take it a little longer to do to finish if um, so I'm going to wait to do the AB colors to last Okay, so that gives me a little bit of time when I go out to get that wax in or order it from Amazon or whatever. But I still can do all the other colors, all right? So that's what I'm going to do. That's what I've decided to do because I am probably in to almost 30 minutes, 40 minutes in, and I've only got this many, this many thing, that many done. So... Um, we're going to put these back up. I hate to because I almost got them all on there, but I'm going to, I'm not going to get all upset again. Um, I want to do all the other colors and then we'll work on those. So it won't take quite as long than if I, you know, waste time on that one color. And that's another good tip is if one color is giving you a hard time like that, just move on to the next color. The next color is number five. And from here on out, I'll probably do a speed, do speed. So that way, fast forward it. So that way, um, you don't have to, <laughs> if I have any more problems, it doesn't, it's not going to make you stressed out. You know, I don't want to stress any of y'all out. <laughs> uh, but it does aggravate whenever things like that happen and especially when you're if it's just like being watched you know to see if you're doing good or or what <laughs> I guess. and i have this plan of things going a certain way and and then when it doesn't it, it's just like upsets the apple cart and nothing works right after that 
So I have to kind of take a step back, give myself some time, and that's what I did. So now I'm going to start on another color, and I'm going to try to get that down in there really good. So that way I don't have the trouble. I can't. Okay, so now this is number five, and we should have plenty of fives because this is a red color. And I don't want to... I need to get this off the end here because I'm... Okay, let's put that there, let's put that there, let's put that there. Get stuff out of the way. And so now I'm going to try to get down here closer. And so you can see what I actually put on. I don't want it to, I'm sorry. Okay, I'm going to work up here first. Let's move you up here. Get you down there to where you can really see good. Maybe like that. Because I don't want my um, hand to be in the way. I have to move it down so I can get to it. Now look, I'll cut all that out. I could zoom it a little bit closer, actually. Let's see here. Oh, it won't let me do it. Okay. Oh, well. Okay. This is going to be fast forwarded anyway. I'm going to roll up a little bit. I'm going to start on this end over here. See if I can get my, okay. All right, now, let's see if I've, I don't want to be. Wait a minute. Is that an S or a 5? I hope to gosh they don't have an S and a 5. They do! 5 and an S! Okay, people. We have a 5 and an S that is red. Are you kidding me? So... This is a five. I can tell the top is a five. I'm going to turn the slide up a little. Sorry, everyone, but I'm going to have to because I can't hardly really see now. <sighs> I'm having the hardest time today. Okay. Out. Stuck. I'm going to have to take these off. That is an S. This is a five. Okay. Now, there. Now, the wax and the the blue tack is working, but now I have the issue of the number five. I guess the number five. I can't tell. All right, then I don't know. S. Some of the S's doesn't have a white. I don't. A line around it I guess I guess I can say that but um, I don't know whether that's legitimate or not because <laughs> it doesn't seem to be consistent and I'm gonna have to do that right there um, let me make sure I've got to get this off I'm telling you what this painting I it trying to get this thing started I'm starting to wonder okay now, I did have that right, I think. Okay. Now, is that, is that a six? Or an eight? Or a bit? What? What in the world? Is that an S? Am I just blind? Is, that, is it just me? I don't know. 
Okay, y'all. I'm just going to try my best to put in this thing. It's not wanting to stay. It's a very thin top. Now that's S's, and I'm supposed to be doing fives. So I'm thinking that the fives have the round white circle around them, and the S's don't, even though it looks like there's just a hint of it. And it's not real def definitive um, for the fives, so I'm going to just go with it. I'm just going to say, okay, that's how I'm going to tell them apart is just look for that red, I mean that white circle around the fives. Okay, now this needs to go up a little bit. Come on now. Work with me. Okay, so all of these are S's right there. And then this is fives. Okay, it takes me a little bit just to get going, doesn't it? I never had that issue. I've not had this problem before. Um, everything's good quality. It's just, I don't know. <laughs> it's just sometimes things, I, I haven't had an issue much of anything with diamond paintings and I guess there's always a first time for everything. So, okay, here's a five. And a five. five. My husband's watching deer hunting on, t on YouTube. Well, he's actually sleeping. And it's running in the background. <laughs> And they're, you know, the one thing that drives me insane watching it, I love watching them, that they're whispering. And they'll be whispering when a deer's walking up. And I'm like, what? You need to be quiet. Dude, there's a reason they have big ears. Quit whispering. Shut up. <laughs> I know some of y'all probably think that's a bad word. Shut up. I'm sorry. Be quiet. Be quiet. You gotta be quiet in the woods. Uh-oh, guess what happened? Guess what just happened? There it is. There's the stuff that just come out of my pen. And it's... Oh, this diamond painting is going to give me a hard time. I'm sorry, Art Dot. I am trying really hard. But these diamonds, for some reason are wanting to pull the stuff out of your pen. You can't go very much. You have to stop and refill your pen. Oh, well. Okay, now, look at here. Okay, I'm losing diamonds. And some of these fives, I mean, some of these S's look like they're in a red, a, a white thing. So I'm just going to barely even touch them and barely even put them on there and see if that helps me go and, and keep it from. And then I can always press them down with the plastic in a minute. Once I get this section done, you know, I hope you are in focus and see how some of this is coming out. Uh, see? Look at there. Oh my gosh. This is just, this is aggravating. Okay, maybe I got it in there that time. I used the corner of my desk to really press it down in there. So maybe, just maybe, 
Okay, five. I'm going to get all these fives with a white circle done as best I can. <laughs> you know, I hope I'm, you can see. And I'm having to kind of reach. only difference that I can see is the white around the five that's that's the only thing that's got a white circle so even though it's very pale very weak um, that's I'm just gonna go by that and if I'm hoping that that's all I need to do Did not pass any. All right. Let's see. You know what? I won't have to wait. I won't have to um, do that with the, you know, by the wax. I have a wax pen that I have gotten, and it actually is just wax on the end. So I should be able to do the ABs with that. I'll show it to you when um, I get done with the fives, and then we'll go back and do the fours. How's that? Uh, it will not defeat me. <laughs> I have a backup plan. I use it because the very uh, the other side has um, a very teeny, tiny, teeny, tiny end on it that I can do the little teardrops, the little teeny, tiny teardrops of special drills. And that's the one I'll use to do the ABs. And if I keep having trouble with the with with any of the others on this, I will recommend using that pen. And see now I can't pick any up because you have to keep so much so little in in here to keep it from pulling it out. So, cause see I can get through this really quickly. Okay, all right. There was all the fives there in that section. We have some fives in the end section over here. And it's just a subtle difference. Such a very subtle difference. Something just fell behind me. Frodo, you better be laying down. Don't be getting into nothing. 
I got to do his hair. I debated on cutting his hair. Wait a minute. There we go. Right there. Um, doing a video of me cutting his hair. Uh, I think he would enjoy it. Because um, <laughs> he is such a woolly booger right now. And I think I'll do that. That might be really fun. Something different. Just something... A little different here. The lady that uh, I used to do it for like eight years and seven or eight years and and then off and on after that. But I'd, I'd take them into Pet Smart and there was a lovely lady there that just she just does small animals because she has bad back and. She had hurt her back, and so she does under a certain weight, and she just loved her Frodo. She called it her Frody, um, because she had a black poodle, a little little poodle like him, and lost him not too long ago. But it got to where it was almost eighty dollars to do his hair, um, sixty-five to eighty bucks, and um, I'm like, okay, I can save that. I can save that money, do it myself, because it was just getting really ridiculously expensive. Okay, everyone, this is the pen that I'm telling you about, and I know you've probably seen these. Um, oh, whoops. This is the pen I was telling you about that come in these little neat things, and one side has, let me get the light up here, one side has this little bitty point that you can pick up teeny, 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 teeny a B drills okay in some of my paintings you've probably seen the little teardrops this is the point I use and it's hollow and you put that blue tack in there as well on this end see it's a double ended on this end it has wax this whole thing is wax so it can't pull it off so this right here right here this little I, I would have one of these handy dandy tools I would order one of these if I were you just to have for the tiny special drills 
and the big special drills and the ones that pull the ABs that pull that out of the regular tips on here. You can see the difference here. So I'm going to switch over and I'm going to go ahead and do the fours while I have this. No need to go out and get that um, other wax. I would just buy, get one of these pins that has the wax and you can get replacements for it after you know you've used it down a lot. Um, you can you can get replacements so we are going to do the ABs again number four we're going to try again so let's see and let's see how it works now it does roll off I mean it just kind of wants to okay use the little one get that off the wax will come off of this one too and it's harder to place it so have this with you in case you or your tweezers but it does seem to pick up try to be a little bit more accurate not heavy handed because you don't want to mush your end here.
Hi everyone. Uh, it's kind of late tonight and um, it's probably about three in the morning, two or three in the morning. You can tell I've been up. I've got my lounging shirt and my lounging hair and everything. I've just been lounging today and doing the diamond painting. So, so don't look at me too much. We're here to see a finished piece. Here we go. This isn't finished, but the first top part is finished. And you can see that wonderful uh, shine and shimmer. And I'll bring it up a little closer for you to see. I'm trying to be a little bit quieter because my family's asleep, <laughs> trying to sleep. And I wanted, to, this has took me, it's probably about 12, 12 hours of work. I had a little technical difficulties with computer and cameras and things. And some of the others, and the wax coming off the AB drill, I mean, pulling, the AB drills pulling off, pulling out the wax or the tacky uh, stuff that I use. So... Yeah, <laughs> I look rough. I'm so sorry, everybody. But, um, yeah, I'm, I'm probably like y'all. Y'all probably do this, too. Just lounge, have your lounging pajamas on and doing this all hours of the night. <laughs> but you can see how pretty this is going to be. And you can see the AB, dim I, AB diamonds in there, which give me a little bit of trouble. I have never had that issue with them pulling that out before. I guess I'm lucky because I had looked it up and I saw where people were having problems with it. Well, this has been a long video and I'm going to go ahead and let you go. God bless you. I love you. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, look for part three. Um next and it'll be this part it'll be the middle right here to let's say it's about right here so right here it's gonna be a long haul youngins y'all believe me you'll appreciate the speed this fast forwarding <laughs> bye everybody Thank you.